Chapter 12. Birds. Yoo-hoo! Over here! It's Rattenboro! So far, you have learned about the following groups of animals within the animal kingdom. Mammals, reptiles, fish, and amphibians. Do you remember all of their different characteristics? Do you remember that we said fish were the largest groups of vertebrates in the animal kingdom? Well, today we are going to talk about the second largest group of vertebrates, birds. Birds belong to a group all their own. Birds, like all living things, are highly adaptive, meaning they can survive in many different habitats. You can find them in deserts and in the coldest places on Earth. Many love forests. There are only a few birds found way out to sea many miles from land. But if you are out in a boat only a few miles from land, you may see many seabirds, such as seagulls. Like mammals, birds are warm-blooded. Many birds migrate when the seasons change. In late fall, they fly in groups called flocks from colder places to warmer places. Then, in the spring after winter is over, they migrate back to the place where they were in the fall. Birds are the only animals besides some insects and bats that are able to fly like an airplane. All birds have wings, but not all birds are able to fly. Penguins are probably the best known birds that do not fly. Penguins make up for not flying by being great swimmers. Ostriches, the largest of all birds, can't fly either, but they sure can run very fast. They also lay the world's largest eggs. Besides wings, all birds have two legs and a mouth without teeth, called a beak. A key characteristic of birds is that they all have feathers. Feathers help these warm-blooded animals fly and help them maintain a constant body temperature. Bird feathers come in all kinds of colors and sizes. A bird's feathers are also called plumage. Peacocks have the fanciest plumage of all. They like to show off by fanning their long, colorful feathers. Most birds are nesting animals. Many birds make their own nests, often high up in the trees or in thick bushes. They use bits and pieces of nature, such as twigs and pots of plants, to create their nest. Other birds build their nests in tree holes. Some bird nests are made of mud. Most birds lay eggs in their nests. Some lay a bunch of eggs, and some lay only one or two. The nest needs to be in a safe place to protect the little eggs from the weather and other animals that might eat the eggs. Birds sit on their eggs to keep them warm and safe until the eggs hatch. Once they hatch, the baby birds need to eat. Mother and father birds fly out from the nest and find food for their babies. They fly back to the nest and place the food in each baby's beak. Many birds are omnivores. Some birds eat seeds and berries. Some eat insects. Some, like the great blue heron, eat fish. Hawks eat little mammals. Other birds, like tiny hummingbirds, eat nectar from flowers. All birds drink water. Birds are also known for their songs. Their songs are used to attract mates and to claim a place as their own. Sometimes it seems as if they sing because they want to. Maybe they sing just to remind us how beautiful and interesting the animal kingdom is.